What's going on YouTube? You're watching Exquisite MAD. Be sure to like and subscribe. Remember to hit that bell. Today, gonna be working on a 30-foot Winnebago. Uh, it needs some compounding. <clears throat> also has some water streaks, some uh, water etching, some water stains, and also some uh, medium to heavy oxidation on here. So, gonna get straight into it. Uh, gonna let y'all see the before here. And as you can see, it just needs a little love. So YouTube, you're watching Exquisite MAD. We're about to look at the results of this detail on this Winnebago. Uh, and as far as a product review of these two polishes and compounds that I used on this Winnebago, uh, both of them made by 3M. Uh, one of them is called a 3M09009. It is considered a marine cleaner and wax. It says that it is for lightly oxidized surfaces. Now, on this one, this one runs about $26, $27. This one here runs about $50 to $70 for this size here, which is one quart. And it is for medium cutting compound plus wax. So it's supposed to be a one step. It's supposed to be easy on and ease of use. Now, looking at the results of this, did it turn out good? Well, it did bring back the shine. It did bring back a little bit of reflection in this gel coat. Um, ease of use, I'm going to get into that. I'm going to bring this around. As you can see, the reflection that's in this gel coat, it was severely oxidized, as you all seen in the beginning. Um, thing I will say is, is that one of these products failed miserably on the ease of use, even though it says that it's ease of use. And uh, this is what I found out. Okay, so this product here, even though that it says that it's a medium cutting compound, <clears throat> and it says works great on boats, RVs, and industrial gel coat, okay? And it says stay wet longer. Okay, so easier cleanup. Use less, easier cleanup. That, in my experience, is a lie. Um... I used a lot more product and what wound up happening was I was able to work in exactly a one foot by one foot area and the product did not spread. It did not work. It was not able to, it, there was no hang time. It dried out. And uh, then on top of that, something that I noticed was is that it ate up two pads and uh, on this one side. So I gave it fair, fair uh, chance of working. Now, I went through about that much right there, a product on that side. And um, then I switched over to this one. It's a cheaper product. It's supposed to be for a lightly oxidized uh, gel coat. The beautiful thing about this is, is that I still have about that much left. I actually did the entire back, and then I'm gonna work, walk with y'all. I'm about to show y'all. I did the entire back, and again, this is my opinion. This is from my use and uh, from from my personal experience with these products. So uh, you could try them, be my guest, but take it from me and my experience, uh, they're not really that great. If you are a novice and you're looking at doing a project on your own and you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're looking at taking on a project and you don't wanna hire anyone and you don't have the budget to pay anybody, stay away from this product here stay away from it it's awful um you will guaranteed without any experience you will give up the project and you will call someone and um this one here it is comparable to mcguire's flagship um for boats flagship wax and uh, it's also a cleaner in one this is comparable to that Gel coat is always hard to work with anyway, especially if you let it go in and it gets too oxidized. But in my personal opinion, save your money away from this. This right here, I, I imagine it would be great on something other than a medium oxidized um, gel coat. The crazy thing is, is that this is actually for a lightly oxidized fiberglass surfaces and gel coat. This one is for medium. This is, this is, this is for something that uh is supposedly got some pretty bad oxidation but what's crazy is is that this actually works better this actually works better and it's a lot cheaper it's about half the price and um use less than a bottle this is only 16.9 ounces this was 
uh, 32. So I used about half a bottle of this on one side. I did three quarters of the entire uh, Winnebago with this and I still have almost one third of the bottle left. So that's my review on these two products.